What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? <clears throat> Today, we're going to be taking a quick look at an e-juice. I have the Gorilla Custards. This is the banana, 3 milligram, 100 mil bottle. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Um, so, <clears throat> the Gorilla Custards line. Um, right now, if you go on shopenb.com, you sign up for their newsletter, you can get the 100 mil bottles of any of their juices. But for this specific one, the Gorilla Custard line, you can get 100 mil for $12. And that's a hell of a deal. <clears throat> So the, the whole Gorilla Custards line, they have a strawberry, they have original custard, a tobacco custard, and the banana custard. For the line itself, it says Gorilla Custard was, a hand, was handcrafted with a very unique base, which is used as a template and main ingredient for all of our custard flavors, whether it be the original, strawberry, banana, or even tobacco. You can rest assured knowing that. <clears throat> so for the banana specifically, it is the classic flavor of sweet banana and custard that will melt your heart away. <clears throat> Get ready for a, de a delecti uh, delecti delectable vaping experience with this banana profile. So here we have it. As you can see, I have been vaping it for a little bit. I am waiting for um, this whole line to come in. I figured while I was waiting for it, I would throw this one up before I run out of this juice. They do not have a specific PG-VG ratio listed on the site, um, which kind of sucks. I wish people would include that because it is kind of important to the juice. Um, it comes in a 60 or 100 mil, like I said, $12 right now if you sign up for EMB's newsletter for 100 mil, $12. Uh, comes in 0, 3, or 6 milligram nicotine strength. So basically, everything normal that you could expect from an e-juice, um, except I don't know what the VGPG ratio is. So today, I have the Keen with the Bonza 1.5 RDA. I got a couple... Mitch Green Alien Coils in here, and 90 So, let's go ahead. I got fresh cotton. Let's give it a vape. So, I'm going to start by saying that lately, the last hmm, month or so, I've had about five different banana flavors. And they all taste kind of like those little banana runts with a different type of kick on them. Okay, so for this flavor right here, first thing I'm going to say is out of all the banana flavors I've tried, I'm not going to mention the other ones because I would probably forget a couple, but out of all the banana flavors I've tried in the last month or so, this is probably 100% my favorite. This is the only one I vaped down to the bottom. The rest of them are still over halfway full or halfway empty, whatever way you want to look at it if you're a negative or positive person. So this is supposed to be like a banana with their custard base flavor. So it's a, supposed to be a dessert flavor, obviously. On the inhale, specifically, I am getting the inhale. I'm getting a nice mellow custard flavor. It's not overly powered. Um, it's just a very nice, well blended custard flavor. And in the transition of when when I stop inhaling and go to exhale, is when that banana flavor starts to intertwine with the custard. Now, I said that a lot of these banana flavors taste like those little banana runts. This one still does have that banana runt taste to it, but I'd say it's like half halfway banana runt, halfway fresh actual banana flavor. Mm. 
it's hard to explain. Like the taste I get in my mouth is that candy banana runt flavor. Um, the taste I get afterwards, the lingering effect and the taste on my lips is an actual like fresh banana flavor. So for me, that straight runt banana flavor gets a little too, um, it just gets a little too much for me after I've ate it for an hour. I get sick of it fairly quick. Being that this one has both aspects to it, it tastes halfway like an actual fresh banana. That's why I enjoy this one so much more. Now I haven't had the other three from this line. I know everybody's raving about this line right now, so I can't detect the custard and compare it to the other flavors as of yet. When I receive the rest of them in a a week or so, I will be able to put that flavor description out there. But as I said, intake is a very nice, mellow, well-blended custard. When you stop inhaling and then exhale, that's when um, the banana, I wouldn't say overpowers, but the banana takes the predominant flavor and the custard is like a, a background flavor to the banana. So they mix very well together. Um, it's a super good blend. So if if the other ones out of this Gorilla line, like if there was, if I, when I get the strawberry mix, if it's a good strawberry mixed in with this same custard, I know that I'm going to fall in love with that juice. So, or just the original custard, if it tastes like this custard does in here, but stronger, I'm going to love it also. So, Definitely a very good flavor. I like the blend. They nailed they nailed the blend with the custard flavor with the banana over the top of it. Um, this is the first one that resembles somewhat of an actual banana to me for what I have tried. It does have that runty banana flavor in it, but the aftertaste and the taste left on your lips is more of is more of a um, a fresh banana. So as far as cotton goes for this juice, it does, I wouldn't say it's really sweet. I would say it's more of like an average, come on, god damn it. I would say it's more of an average type of dessert flavor on your cotton. You know, it's not specifically clean, um, but it's not bad like some dessert flavors that I've actually that I've tried. Come on. This is pissing me off. I cannot wait until my new camera gets here. There we go. So you can see this is for from about a 40 minutes of a fresh wick. It does color your cotton and it does gunk up after some usage, a few days of usage, but it is definitely not like I wouldn't call it a, a coil gunker. I'd say it's just an average dessert flavor type of juice on your coils and cotton. So with that being said, for $12 right now, if you can go to shopemb.com and pick this juice up, I would recommend trying this entire line. Um, like I said, this is the only one out of the line I've tried, but this one right here is delicious. So I can only imagine when I get the other ones how good they're going to be. So you'll see the other ones on the channel coming up in the future along with other lines from e &B. Um That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you soon. Have a good night.